Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And today I'm going to be doing my NFL Beast Green Bay Packers Week 12 recap show, uh, Thanksgiving edition special. Um, first and foremost, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Um, pretty good for me, since, of course. We're talking about my Green Bay Packers getting a big dub uh, early on in the early days uh, or the early time of Thanksgiving. Very, very well done. Um, and you know, it was uh it was a great it was a great performance by the Packers. The Packers outplayed the Lions the entire game. Really uh, shocking. Right from the, literally the beginning of the game. Like the first offensive play of the game, Jordan Love bombed it right to my boy Christian Watson. And uh, that set up the first touchdown to uh, Jaden Reed, which was also a very good throw by uh, Jordan Love. And you know what? This was, uh, you know, I'm going to give it to people. You know, I've criticized Jordan Love all year. And I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him his flowers. You know I'm gonna give him his flowers. He he fucking played a fucking phenomenal game here, and that dude deserved that damn turkey leg after that performance. That 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 dude deserved turkey leg. Uh, you know screw uh uh Fox for uh not having the damn turkey legs there. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit right there. They should have had the turkey legs ready. Um, anyways, yeah, Jordan Love. What can I say? That was a great performance. I'm still skeptical on him. I mean, he had a great game. This is his best game. This is better than the Chargers game, in my opinion. Even though the Chargers game, he had 300 pa yards passing. He was playing against the worst defense in the league, uh, and that's why I think uh, we did so good against the Chargers. This, to me right here, was his best performance, uh, even though it was less than 300 yards because he was playing against a really good Detroit team. Which is kind of weird to say since Detroit has always been a shitty team um, my most of my life. Uh, but this Lions team is a really good Lions team. And, uh, you know, from start to finish, Jordan Love played. Jordan Love balled out right from the first offensive play, obviously. The defense balled out. Um so much so much positive things happened in this game. It was really good. Uh Jordan Love went from uh went to uh 22 for 32 for 268 yards passing and he had three touchdown passes, which is really good. Uh again, great performance here on Thanksgiving. I, I still am very skeptical of Jordan Love being the guy because again, it is one performance, you know. But it is against it was against a good Detroit Lions team, so there is that. So I will give him his flowers for that. Um, he played a very good game. It was a very good game plan, um, and you know they were they dominated the game. You know that first half they dominated them, and you know even when the Lions started to make a comeback, you know they they really controlled that game. You know the Lions could not really muster in the the stuff that they needed to do to get ahead of us. Um, so, yeah, it was definitely a really good performance. Um, so for a rushing, uh, AJ Dillon, aka the truck, aka Quadzilla. Um, I used to call him the mini bus, and then I called him the truck, but now he's called Quadzilla. Uh, fourteen. Uh, he had fourteen attempts for forty-three yards rushing. Uh, he was our leading rusher um, in the game, but uh, he uh, he he mostly did a lot of passing stuff, and we'll get to that stat as well too, because there were some big plays he did as well uh, on the passing uh, on the screen. Uh, now Jordan Love uh, had three uh, attempts for 39 yards. He was the second rusher. He had that big rushing play at the end of the game, which kind of clinched it for us. Um, so there was that big rushing play on that third down. Um, uh, Jaden Reed, he had two attempts for 16 yards and then Patrick Taylor, the backup had three attempts for 11 yards rushing. 
Um, Christian Watson had his best game by far in this game, our number one wide receiver. Christian Watson's our number one wide receiver. He is a better receiver than Romeo Dobbs, but the one thing that's been really concerning me is that they haven't been getting the ball to him. Uh, and I do believe Christian Watson is better than Romeo Dobbs. Romeo Dobbs has had the most success so far, but Christian Watson is the better receiver. But Jordan Love hasn't been really throwing it to him. That's really the only thing. Jordan Love really doesn't throw to him. Aaron Rodgers was giving Christian Watson opportunities, you know, early on in the season when he was struggling his rookie year, and then he finally went back to him. And that's when Watson was really becoming a playmaker. And Jordan Love has just not wanted to go to him. Um, that's one of the biggest concerns for me because I know he has the talent. Uh, but today... Jordan Love went to Christian Watson, and he went to him right off the bat. First pass was, you know, a bomb right to him. It set him up in the red zone. Uh, he had five receptions, 91 yards. He also did have a touchdown pass. He was targeted seven times. He was targeted the most out of everyone in this game, which is definitely needs to happen. Um, yeah, A.J. Dillon, who had three reception, he jumped over one guy on a screen pass as well. 38 yards uh, passing. Romeo Dobbs, he had three receptions for 37 yards passing. Jaden Reed had four receptions, 34 yards uh, receiving, and then he also did have that clutch touchdown. It was like right on a dime. Jordan Love threw it right between two defenders, and he's like, holy, he's curling it as he gets, uh, he fights into the end zone. It was just a beautiful play by Jaden Reed after the big play by Christian Watson. Uh, a t our tight end, uh, Tucker, uh, uh, Tucker Kraft, he's one of our tight ends, uh, two, um, you know, two, uh, two, two receptions. Um, two receptions for, uh, two receptions for 15 yards passing. Um, so he was doing as well too. Um, and then the rest, uh, Patrick Taylor had one reception for four yards. Um, so, yeah. We had a good day on their defense. Uh, of course, you know, the sacks. There was a bunch of sacks in the game. And then there was that fumble. You know, it looked like an incompletion on the, you know, on the far cam or whatever, or in the on real time. But then upon replay, you know, obviously it was obvious that it was uh, a fumble. Uh, and it was called that on the field. I was really surprised because I was trying to figure it out. And then they ran it back. He got the touchdown. I was like, oh, the touchdown. I was like, touchdown. He was like, and I said, to Ripley, yeah, touchdown. And that was in real time when I was uh, recording that reaction because I, I was kind of confused by it. I was like, all right, I'm going to try to record this. Uh, if it's not a fumble, then I just won't upload it. But uh, it turned out to be, as we were seeing it on real time when I was recording the reaction to it, it was like, yeah, that's a fumble, you know. Fell, uh, it did not go forward. So, yeah, awesome. Awesome. There was no mistakes. The Packers didn't really make any mistakes in this game. Um, you know, they got three turnovers in the game. Uh, again, one returned for a touchdown. One fumble recovery returned for a touchdown. Um, and, uh, you know, a bunch of sacks. Um, and the Lions went – it was kind of interesting because in this game, in this game, for whatever reason, both teams wanted to go for it on fourth down as many times as they could. Uh, it was kind of interesting. Uh, but uh, the Detroit Lions went for it on fourth down the most, and they did not convert. Any of them except for one with, like, two minutes left. The last one they went for uh, with two minutes left they got. But all the major ones they didn't um, – in the third quarter, they went for a fake punt on fourth and four inside of their 20. Uh, I thought that was crazy at the time, uh, you know, because they were inside the 20, uh, and they were 
down by they were only down by a touchdown and then that led to the Christian Watson touchdown once they didn't get it they they actually not only got it didn't get it they lost a yard on that fake punt you know the Packers were ready for it um so then we were up by two touchdowns um by the time the Lions got a touchdown and then got a two uh it was too late um you know we recovered the onside kick and uh the game was over after that um the only miscues I will really talk about with the Packers today, because there's really nothing really majorly negative that happened in this game. The Packers played a very, very good game. They had a very good game plan, the offense and defensive side of the ball. They were very well ready. Um, the only thing, the only negative things I can really talk about the Packers and their performance tonight was the two missed two point conversions, uh, and I guess the extra point too. I mean. Uh, you know, our kicker did miss an extra point on one of the touchdowns. It was the, I think it was the touchdown after the fumble, uh, returned for a touchdown. Uh, we missed, we did not convert the two pointers, which would have made this game completely out of reach to begin with. Um, so in the one, two, they, uh, what was it? They did, uh, they, uh, did, um, a thing where it was uh they did something with the two uh, the play call I didn't think was that very good um on the two point conversion um in my opinion uh, and then also, there was also a botched play, like the one fourth down play that we did. Um, AJ Dillon, I guess, moved the wrong way, and because of that, the bobbling happened with Jordan Love and him. They uh, they hit each other, and they didn't convert the fourth down. Uh, that was probably the only bad play. That was the only major bad play we had was the the botched fourth down convert. We didn't convert on fourth down because uh, A.J. Dillon moved into the wrong spot when uh, Jordan Love uh, hiked the ball. That was only the major – that was the only bad play we had in this game. Like that, we didn't convert the two. Uh, I didn't think the two uh, was necessarily a good play call. Um, And uh, overall – that, those are the only things I can think of um, that we didn't do right in this game. Um, we did miss a 63-yard field goal with it right before halftime, but again, it was a 63-yard field goal. It was pretty hard. He was five yards off, and it was a rookie. So still pretty was good, pretty good kick overall despite missing it. Um, but, yeah, Green Bay Packers look good. Uh, we got – we're we're five and six now. We're surprisingly still in the playoff hunt. I don't know if we're going to get anywhere with that. Um, you know, being the fact that we didn't beat the Vikings, so I don't know how that's going to happen, especially with the Vikings playing good. Um, and again, just the Lions. They're, the Lions are going to still probably win the division despite us beating them here. So that's not going to really, <laughs> I don't think, change anything uh, here despite us beating them here. But uh, I am happy that we won. Uh, again, nothing majorly bad in this game other than missing the two and uh, that botched play on fourth down and convert, but uh, with A.J. Dillon not going in the right spot on the snap. But outside of that, the Packers were pretty good in this game. They didn't really do anything wrong majorly uh, that really cost them in this game. Um, so, yeah, that is my uh, Green Bay Packers beast recap show um thanksgiving edition special edition uh comment rate if you like this video might have please subscribe hit that notification bell for all these content thank you and that is about it i am the ss ultimate goku and i'm out of here peace also make sure to go to my youtube channel the ss ultimate goku my twitch the ss ultimate goku instagram the ss ultimate goku and i do have a discord link in the description make uh sure to check that out for all the anime english dub news we talk about we talk about the cartoons we talk about the live action tv shows live action tv series tv movies um 
the NFL, obviously, football teams, uh, the uh, Green Bay Packers, obviously, my team, um, the AEW, the WWE, uh, all that good stuff. So, yeah, go there and, yeah, check it out. And now I'm out. Peace.